What up, y'all? Welcome to the Soul Ring Vintage Cube Edition. See, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's. Uh, yeah, we're we're trying to be in a little better mood, a little more, uh, a little more positive, a little less negative, a little less discouraged, and uh, I think Mind Twist is great, but I also think Coalition Relic off of Soul Ring is great. So I don't know, man. Thank you. Wear your masks, cover your noses. Boy, that is advice. That is that is lessons to live by. Ancient Stirring, I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for the resub. And the sage-like advice. Still can't open power. We just did open power. Are you referring to me or you? A little less aggravation, a little more action. That's a solid reference right there. God, Mind Twist is so good, too. I think we're taking Relic because it does keep us open. Hmm. Well, this is an interesting pack. Draga Tree Speaker is very strong. Positivity is paying off already. Buddy, you ain't kidding. Although this pack... I think it's just Vista. Let's just take Vista. Vista still keeps us open. Nothing in this pack is really speaking to me. Draga Tree Speaker is great. But I'd rather just take the Vista. Council's Judgment is nice. But then it says like, oh, you gotta be white. And I'm like, nah, I don't know. We don't have conversation. A little more action. Oracle of Moldias seems very good. You are a great and awesome human being. I love the content community. Man, I appreciate you. I try. I'm definitely susceptible Thank to you. bouts of sadness and stress and discouragement. BBD, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Almost a year, buddy. Could take Hollowed Fountain. I'll take Hollowed Fountain. Let's go with the lands here. You know what? Let's take it. There was a Sword of Feast and Famine in that first or second pack that could come back. Show and tell is trash, unfortunately. Why so down? I'm not down today. I've just been stressed and, and snappy and short recently. I'm going to take Stoneforge. I think Stoneforge is the best card in this pack, right? Scavenging Ooze is less exciting as a main deck card than Stoneforge Mystic. Could also take Winter Orb, too. I don't want to take Winter Orb. I'm just taking Stoneforge. Resto seems good. I like a Resto. Resto is just a solid pick. Um, Oblivion Ring is good, too, but Resto actually has combo potential, so... I have to go to bed. I appreciate you. Ancient Stirring. Have a good night, buddy. Enjoy your little sleepies. Sun Titan. Interesting. Sun Titan is quite, quite interesting. Oh, what up, Unforgiven? Could be Blue White Chions. We got all the the components. If that Jace Bellerin comes back, that'd be pretty sweet. I mean, let's be honest. Jitae's a pretty sweet card to get with Stoneforge Mystic. So I'm going to take it. It's also a card we can get back with Sun Titan. This is eight cards. So now we might either see Sword of Feast and Famine in this pack or the next pack. Sometimes you just know what you're doing. So Basalt Model is great, but we have Coalition Relic and Sol Ring, so. Interesting. 
Interesting. Winds of Abandon is just fine when we have a second color yet. Sure, I'll take a Winds of Abandon. A little less conversation, a little more action. A little less bark, a little more bite. I mean, the card I want out of here is Huntmaster. The Raven Inspector might be fine. Containment Priest is okay. I don't want to be... Yeah, just take Containment Priest. Winter Orb. Sure. It is still Wednesday, my dudes. It is true. It is still Wednesday. <laughs> eh, we'll take the Vampire Nighthawk. Interesting. Not terrible black cards. Not great black cards, but not terrible black cards either. Wasteland is interesting. So is Grim Monolith. Like, that's really good. We do have Wasteland Sun Titan, though, which is pretty sweet. Interesting. I think it's Wasteland. I mean, Scrubland's probably fine, but I don't think I'm not necessarily committed to to these two. Especially when Necrotal is the worst version of this. What if we take Grim Monolith and Wasteland Tables? I'm going to take Grim Monolith. I think Grim Monolith is just super strong here. I like Course of Portal. Well, Model doesn't do enough yet. But how dare you hop in? How dare you hop into this chat and start talking sass? How dare you? I'm definitely not taking Thief when we're not blue or black yet. I mean, I'm, I'm just probably looking at Course of Portal here. And we have actually a good amount of artifacts. One, two, three, four, five. This is six artifacts so far, not including Winter Orb if we want to play that. So you're going to put Fractured Identity, Mystic Confluence, and Batter Skull in the same pack. Oh, dear Jesus. Lord have mercy. Like, I literally think it's just Fractured Identity. Batter Skull might come back since we have Stoneforge. And I'm not into double blue just yet, but we can pretty easily splash this off of Hollow Fountain, Vista, Island, Coalition Relic. And Celestial Colonnade. Blade Splice are also pretty decent as well. I think we're just going to take the land here. Because if we're definitely planning on Splashing Fractured, then that's pretty cool. This pack's pretty unimpressive. I think it's either like Legionnaire or Celestia Signet. It actually could just be Urza, though, with Winter Orb. Let's just take Urza. Preordain is nice. What is Yorion blinking? Yorion blinks Sun Titan, Urza, Stoneforge. I could untap Grimmonolith. Could actually be Yorion here. Although Preordain is pretty nice. Two cards are coming back. I'm going to take the Yorion. I think the upside is higher. Sword of Fire and Ice is nice. Yeah, I'll take a Sword of Fire and Ice. And we'll play one of these two swords. Unfortunately, I don't think we're a Gear Hulk deck. I can tell because we have literal zero instants. That cost six, three, or... That, that cost anything, I guess. <sighs> so I think we're just taking Flicker Wisp. Which, again, is decent with Sun Titan. It's decent at blinking Urza. We'll take Flicker Wisp. 
the wasteland came back. I like it in case we get uh, strip mine and or crucible. Brazen borrower. Sure, I'll take a brazen borrower. Okay, I am a. Uh... Yeah, I was thinking Sacred Foundry, but I think I think Flicker Wisp is fine. Dang, the batter skull didn't come back. That's really sad. <sighs> Disheartening. Iona does nothing for us. Thalia is probably a hindrance. I think we just take Temple Garden in case we want to search for a green. Blade Splicer is pretty decent here. Yeah, Silver Blade's fine. Uh, I don't love Orb in the Main yet just because we have Urza. I mean, I think we're going to find. We're going we're to wait and see. I'm not there yet. Emotionally, I'm just not ready. Vindicate. Treachery seems very, very good. So does Azorius Signet and Ponder. If either one of these come back, I'll be incredibly grateful. Yeah, it's just got to be treachery, right? I think treachery over signet for sure. Um, God, I'm really sad the batter skull didn't come back, but mox diamond seems great here. I mean, it's not relic order, turnabout, oracle, or honor. I don't think this is a great sword. This pack is pretty pretty underwhelming, so I think mox diamond is actually just fine, even though it does go in the main deck since it's not a land. I think our deck's looking pretty sweet so far. Golos is interesting, especially since we picked up this Temple Garden. And it's an artifact. I think it's better than Random Signet. Mere Battle Sphere is pretty sweet. Lingering Souls is fine. We have no way to flash it back. Workshop is decent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only have eight artifacts though, so I'm not super sold on it. Yeah, I think it's just Mere Battle Sphere. Okay, Metalworker is pretty interesting. Metalworker is definitely interesting here. Plus that pack was not very... Uh... Oh, Steam Vents is nice for Golos. That's actually pretty sweet. It's just a free blue splash. That gives us that red. Opposite, we're not an opposition deck though. Like we only have like blades. We have like eleven creatures, but that seems high even. Like we're not gonna use these. To, oh, I guess we could use your battle sphere, but then we're like we're not talking about using opposition until like turn seven. So. Um. Gideon Blackblade's not terrible. Giver of Runes is fine. Tanglewire is interesting. Ding, ding, ding. 
Let's take the giver of runes. I don't think we're taking bad lands here. This pack's pretty bad. Um, actual nothing for us. Hmm. It's probably just taking zealous conscripts. Well, we did get a distant chant. Are we lodestone goleming here? Yeah, Leon Reliquator's a fine guy to, to have in your back pocket. We'll take Brimaz. Lingering Souls and Mana Tithe. We don't actually have a Black Source, do we? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, we have Mox Diamond, I guess? Yeah, we didn't get a Black Source. We can play one Swamp with Prismatic Vista. <laughs> hey, Glass Pick Gideon's not terrible. This is 24 cards. And this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 artifacts. Probably cut Flicker Wisp. Flicker Wisp actually blinking Stone Forge or Blade Splicer. There's also two swords in here. But why would you buy any cans of Sir Stroming unless they're going into your Starburst reduction sauce? Oh, we also have Relic for the Black Source, too, so. That's pretty good. Um, are either of these. These might be better than Flicker Wisp. Bermont Brass might just be better than Flicker Wisp. So might so Gideon. Hmm. Oh, we can take a Mana Tithe. This is not a mana tide deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve artifacts is pretty good. I don't know if I want to cut a sword just because we have uh metalworker. Maybe that's fine. Maybe we're cutting one sword's fine. I think Sword of Fire and Ice is better. But now we get to put one of these two in there. I think it's Brimaz. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seems fine. We are very low on blue. Oh, also, Giver of Runes is an option, too. Subway cookies are pretty legit, though. Oh, 
god, are you like Why are you like this? Raspberry cheesecake cookies? Get the fuck out of here. I want to take Flicker with because we have Resto. I'm just going to play Giver because I think Giver is actually very, very strong. Okay, let's have feel goods. Let's do it. This deck looks sweet. Plus, we got Soul Ring and Mox Diamond and Grim Monolith and Coalition Relic and lots of artifacts. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven artifacts for our uh, Metal Worker. We'll see. Uh, yes, Golos is definitely better. Guarantees you a six land, likely ramps you to seven. Very easy to play. And probably extremely easy to activate in this deck. Like, assuming we draw any blue source, right now we already have three of five colors. Golos can get a fourth. So. Like, this hand is actually pretty great. Assuming they don't have spell pierce. <laughs> That's interesting. We don't really have an incentive to play this. If they have like Brazen Bar where they can bounce it, it's pretty rough. I'm going to the store now. Curry, can you get some gummies? Dan's, what up? Wait. Oh, wow. This could be good. Like, we could actually go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like, we could actually play Sun Titan here, discard this to Mox Diamond, and then just get it back. Oh, man. I'm, I'm afraid of this double blue, though, you know? I'm back from C, and I go back Friday to C. PSA, we put the fire out. Nice. Although we disagree on some issues, I still love you as a career. Oh, do we really? I feel like we. I feel like you and I would be similar in 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 several ways. Interesting. Also, appreciate the one year, buddy. Thank you so much, my dude. This is tricky because I just, I don't want to walk into like mana drain and then they take advantage of all our manas, you know? Dan's, I love you, buddy. You are awesome. <laughs> Dan's always has like extra random bits. She's like, here's 100 and 219. You should get your gummy Saturday? What? What does that even mean? What? They banned meth in my state. I am bummed. Bund? I don't even know, buddy. <laughs> Kerwin, how am I getting... How did you... What? But... How? Alright, let's try that. I think we're just going to pass the turn. I don't really feel like doing anything this turn. I really feel bad looking at two islands. Like, Mana Drain is a big fear. The last thing I want is for them to be like, seven free mana, untap, storm you. Kermit, I know you know where I live for sure, my dude. That's obvious. But like, high choose now and later is a starburst? Uh, high choose, 100%. I remember now and later being really soft when I was a kid, but every time I've tried them as an adult, they're like really hard and I feel like they're going to break my teeth. I kind of just want to play Brazen Borrower here. But I can't because I only have a single blue. So, never mind. Kurt, my point is, like, how did you, like, how did you know to send me gummies? Relic's pretty decent. All Relic. So now we can cast Brazen B. Also, Relic puts us real close to activating Golos. 
Maybe they stayed the same and your teeth got softer. You know, maybe. Yeah, see, this is the kind of bullshit I was afraid of with this Mox Diamond, to be honest with you. I don't know why you didn't do that last turn to look for a land, but... Whatever, I guess. Okay, well... That's just fine. You asked for gummies when I was going to the store. But did you just get them right this second? That was like the fastest response ever. I was just, man, that's wild, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can untap five lands, guys. Let's... So we can have three left over. We can bounce this guy. Uh, that seems fine, I think. And I will put this into play untapped. Yep. And bounce this jabroni. <laughs> Dance, how do you pick your bits? Explain it to me, because it's very charming. Here's 35 high chew bits. Oh man, it's so random and it's so wonderful. Okay. I see how you're going to be. Oh man, I love Mystical Kitchen. I love all good Mythical Morning. I said Mystical. I meant Mythical Kitchen. I love all good Mythical Morning. Mark, you, myth you a GMM fan, Mark? All right, well, you know what they say. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I steal my own guy back? Well, that's all I got, so. Oh yeah, I love Good Mythical Warning, man. Those guys are my jam. Dragon Day Dragon, Dragon Day Dragon, thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yep, let's get... Colonnade, probably, that just seems good. So now we have red, blue, white, and then we can make green and black from one of these dudes. Here is 63 bits. <laughs> Cook, appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate it. Man, this Sun Titan is getting a lot of action. My friend used to work on GM. That's actually pretty awesome, dude. Uh, they control magic, and we treacheried back. So, not the plague. Regardless of our our beliefs that may differ, I appreciate you, buddy, and I appreciate uh, 
your service. Oh god, things are happening. Is this just like Banefire? It's an X spell. Is it Banefire? Stone Coil Serpent. Okay. Okie dokums. What if we draw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can we just draw Temple Garden? That'd be sick. Stoneforge Mystic. That's pretty wild. So if we go get a sword. One, two, one, two, three, one. If we go get a sword, like we just attack for eight. It's pretty wild. Let's twist again. Like we did Sun Titan. Also, they're red and blue. We got a red and blue sword. Ugh. So we don't want to put it on here, though, because then these both fall. Oh, if these both fall off, then we actually get to keep our guy, right? This actually does work, right? Nice. Wait, why does he... That's terrible. Oh my god, he can't attack this turn because we lost control of him then gained control of him again? Does that... That's a little weird. Oh well. I mean, it's still per red, per blue, so... I mean, presuming they don't have a braid, right? That's, that's really sad. I did not see that coming. Why couldn't theirs fall off first and then ours fall off? Right? That's really weird. Because ours fell off first. They momentarily gained control of it for state-based effects. Then it came back over to our side. That's really weird. That's literally some shit I'm sure you'll never see outside of Cube. I mean, active player, not active player doesn't really... I don't know if that really applies there, though, because it's not... These aren't abilities you're putting on the stack. They're just state-based effects. Okay. I'm still afraid of any kind of storm shenanigans, but... I mean, next turn, this guy just... If we hit a land, we can just play Mox Diamond and get back the land, which is pretty decent. And that actually gives us enough colors to activate this guy. I found the GMM YouTube channel a couple of weeks ago. They're great. The video I like most was there. We're messing with a paint mixer machine. Mark, there are so many good... There are so... Not only so many good, but there are so many good Mythic Warning episodes. Like, you will never run out of content if you just start watching good Mythic Warning episodes. Well, yeah, we all we knew that. So they can get back Snapcaster or Snapcaster, okay, or Walking Ballista for for zero. They toss the toy in there, and after the shake, the toy said, "Give me more, give me more." What? <laughs> okay, Snapcaster coming back. Oh, I love when they I love when they do like international, you know, donut test or whatever and then they like they have to they have to throw a dart to figure out which uh which country it's from i also like all the willets willet sandwich willet taco they're all very good so now you can block with sun titan and stone coal serpent so one land that's pretty good one two three four five six we play this three four five Discard you. Now we can go red, blue, white, three, four, five, black, and green. Let's activate Golos and see what's up. Oh, 
Oh, Yorion seems real good. Do we get to play one of the lands? I imagine we get to play one. Can we target anybody with anything? Uh, I'm going to say okay, right? Thank you. Super friends with the 10 gifted subs? What in the earth? Thank you. What's your what's your deal, bro? Bro, what's your deal? Tell me about your tell me about your deal. Thank you. That is nuts. I appreciate you, buddy. What in the earth? Thank you. I don't understand your methods, my friend. But I appreciate them. Um Thank you. Yeah, this seems fine. Let's equip sword to you. I told you I'd give 10 Thank subs if you activate gold. Did you really? I didn't even see you say that. This is how honorable and pure Super Fritz is. I didn't even see him say that, to be honest. Thank you. But he still did it. Thank you. God, Super Fritz is an absolute treasure. Thank you. I can't play this other land, right? Okay, just making sure. Look at all these permanents that are going to come play. Oh, buddy. Thank you. Yep, let's get this one island back because sure. Is Golos your favorite? I like how once Fires of Invention is banned in all the formats, he's like, well, I like Golos now. Golos is my favorite now. <laughs> Typical. Typical Super Fritz. <laughs> Man, how quickly you forget about fires. Unbelievable. Super Fritz, I still have to play that deck you sent me. I'm looking forward to it because it's a nice change of pace. I have so many... Dude, I have so many fruit snack wrappers in here. I'm almost embarrassed. I hope no one sees my fruit snack wrapper extravaganza. Thankfully, they just can't get anything of value back with this guy. I feel like we're in good shape, but it's really hard to know, you know? Like you did last summer. It's nothing, huh? Scooby-Doo or Welsh is actually that's hilarious that you that you asked that. Cause it's but like scooby doos not the only version, right? Aren't they just a version of they're these guys? But to be fair, there's also some fruit by the foot mixed in. I went ham, dude. I was like, give me three packs of fruit snacks. It's good for my, it's good for my body. It's not good for it's good for my soul, rather. Let's say it's probably not good for the body. I like all fruit snacks. I I don't tend to discriminate. Let's add a black, and then we're gonna go. It's one red, blue, white, green, two. Activate the Los of the Go. Wow, Urza, Blade Spicer, another land? Alright, sure. Cast Urza. This guy's gonna be pretty big, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun list when it does the things it's trying to do. Otherwise, it just gets stopped by Simic Ramp decks immediately. But eh, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Build it better. This is an 8-8? Eight, eight? What can they have in hand that beats this board? <laughs> I prefer my fruit snacks to be shaped like dinosaurs. The brand is less important. 
It's an honest man. Okay. Well, let's just monolith play Jitte. Equip Jitte to this Yorion, because I feel like... Really, I don't know how they deal with the Yorion. When it has pro blue and pro, pro red in the blue red deck. This guy has protection from multicolor, though. That is worse. Uh, dang it, Reach. Yeah, that's not great. I think we should, I guess we should have moved this to Sun Titan? Why aren't you bigger? Did you ever think about that? Why aren't you larger? We have 15 to the 15. Okay, so we're actually doing fine on time. We got one, two, three, four, five. Good lord, man. Stone Core Serpent's just a beating. How many artifacts do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, let's just activate Urza, right? Don't be a land. Okay. This is still game one, yes. I mean, even if they have something like Wildfire, you know, it's not the worst. We have an 88, 4, 5, and 9, 9 that survives. Golos, sur oh, fuck. So we're dead now. It gives pro colorless, yeah. Wow, are we just dead here? Because that's hilarious. If we waited all this time and just end up dying to one Kiki Jiki twin. I guess I feel like I wasn't super aggressive here. Yeah, that's really frustrating. Well, we're definitely keeping Brazen Borrower in hand now until we really need it. Oh, wow. They did not have it. I mean, once we Sun Titan and get some counters on the Jitte, like, we can kill this guy. <laughs> Two counters on this guy and shoot it. But. That's interesting. I think we're good. They didn't have a ton of artifacts or enchantments. Mana Tithe could be... I mean, like, we're, we're, there's no real reason for Mana Tithe except for that we want to get him, you know? I don't think it's strategically great. But... I could just want to get him. So I'm going to bring it in. It's to send a message, it's true. I can get behind it. Having the chance to get him is better than not having the chance to. You know what? I think that's true.
flicker. You flicker. Um, I think we're just turn one giver of runes. This hand's pretty unimpressive. I'm gonna keep it because they're on the play, we're on the draw, and they went to six. So. Anyone like Cinemassacre? By Cinemassacre, I mean, I do like the angry video game nerd a lot. I think he's pretty hilarious, and he's actually been really great about putting out pretty hilarious content for the past, like, 15 years, man. That guy is, like, that guy's a workhorse, dude. Okay, okay. She did. Jitte. More like Umazawa's Jeet. I mean, if we draw another land, we can just play Lodestone Golem next turn, which is pretty good. I'm actually almost hoping for, for land land, so they can go Lodestone in to keep up Resto. That is not a land. But I don't want to drop Mox Diamond because... I mean, both of these are one land, right? Like, if we play Mox Diamond, though, they can bounce it with their repeal. Drawing them a card. Oh, Kurt, what up, my dude? Welcome back, my buddy. Okay, okay. This guy. My normal corner store was closed. It's messed up. Rock and roll never forgets. Dang. All right, we're gonna jitte this guy. God, I hope they don't have any. Do you have an answer? Repeal costs you six. Oh, we're getting counters? Oh, Jitte got some counters. Did you acquire what you needed? <laughs> oh, your bodega was closed? <laughs> yeah, actually. That uh, sounds about right. Oh, man, what are they going to do? Impulse. Three mana impulse. God. Can you imagine? Guys, this Lodestone Golem is going to go the distance. He's going for speed. He's all alone, all alone, all alone in his time of need. Do, 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 do. Just take seven. Just take seven. I guess we get to play Relic here, which is that's kind of cool. 
maybe that's what happened to Mike's dad. His corner store was closed and he had to go further and got lost. That's probably correct. God, look how many counters we have, guys. This guy's definitely lethal next turn. He just kept going in store after store. He's still looking. They say to this day he's still looking for his cigarettes. She tastes like cigarettes, Lieutenant Dan. It's from Forrest Gump. Oh, they're going to repeal this guy now. Oh, man. Are they just going to kill us? Because we used one counter, they're going to kill us. This feels terrible. <sighs> what a stupid mistake I've made. Oh god, just be kiki jiki. Give me a kik to build a jik on and my imagination. Okay, this is fascinating. You can kill that, buddy. Can and will. Oh, everything's fine. Wow. Whew. We really dodged a bullet there. Oh, man, I messed up. Well, yes. Here, I'll help. I hope they I hope they don't concede. I hope they let me try to kill it so then they can be like, oh, I see. I mean, we have three counters, so if they respond now, we can kill it again. Or if they respond after the second counter, we can kill it. So it's like, doesn't really, doesn't really matter to us. Sure. We're gonna have six mana, so we can just treachery this next turn. We could actually treachery the Kiki Jiki if it lives. I don't know what they're doing right now. <laughs> like, this is what happens when you Kiki and you're supposed to Jiki. I'm just gonna, you know what? Sure. What is this doing? Are you just gonna make infinite copies like right now and I ends in your end step? What? What's happening right now? Thank you. Rylos, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I don't understand what's happening right now. Uh at the be oh they I guess they oh they they don't go away they don't go away on on their turn. It's at the beginning of the next end step, right? So like it keeps them alive for a turn. So I guess that's a thing. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, we're killing this Kiki Jiki anyway. Alternatively. He kiki when he should have jiki Elk Tears. Dude, Superfred said that. He said that's what happens when you kiki when you're supposed to jiki. <laughs> oh, man. I love that both of you guys said that. No, they go away at the end of the next at the at the at the end step, man. The next end step is my end step, not theirs. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like it's safe to just they have no let's just Yeah, sure. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, so like it goes to our turn. We can't attack because of all these stupid Kiki Jikis, but like, like they can't do anything either. So, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my clock, and I'll use it now.
I don't know what's happening right now, guys. <laughs> this is wild, man. Oh boy. <laughs> this is incredible. Does he think they just stay around forever? Because I would have just killed this dude in response. Let him time himself. I mean, I don't have a choice, right? I'm just sitting here. I don't really have a... I can't really do anything about it. Oh, is this, is this going through? Okay. All right. Yep. Let's... Add a blue, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's treachery the OG, just so they can't, like, splinter twin next turn. Because we're not going to have enough Jitte counters. And we still have Brazen Borrower in case they do. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. Alright, I will pass. <laughs> Oh boy. Yep, and there they go. We can resolve these one at a time here? <laughs> What's happening right now? Look at all these keys. <laughs> oh, what up, T Bobadil? Good seeing you, my dude. Oh man, I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> He's like, wait, why do these disappear? Oh, and we have the scoop. One, they don't even draw their card. So clearly they thought these guys were going to survive until the next turn. And then they're just going to be like, all right, I'm just going to kill you. Why is he still playing? I don't understand. I got all these, I got all these Kiki Jikis. I think it's funny if you make Deceiver Rex Arc tokens and you still call them Kiki Jikis. You're like, look at all my Kiki Jikis. Because that's just a funny word. I I had to take that off the soundboard soundboard bard because it sings to me. I had to take it off the soundboard because I actually got a copyright strike for having that. This hand's terrible. You know what? This hand's all right. I'm going to definitely ship one of these artifacts. Like, just because we have... Actually, maybe it's Sun Titan. Let's get rid of Sunny T. I mean, I really don't want to draw Stone Forge here, right? Oh, man. Hit me, Jitte, one more time. Oh, Bremen's King of Cats is good. Oh, 
Oh wow, they hit Black Lotus off of their Emery. <laughs> Fucking, you can't make this shit up, buddy. It's true. I do push that show all the time. I should email them and be like, "Yo, Larry David." I literally run a Magic the Gathering stream. I know you don't know what that is because you're big time Hollywood. But I, I have I have fun with my audience. And I just want to use this music. Solid strategy. I can get behind this. That does seem pretty good. Here comes Primeval Titan. You ready? I'm ready. Acidic Slime. Kill Jete. Looter Ilkor. Huh. Oh, okay, that guy's a that guy's a that guy's a turd. However, if we draw land, we did. We get to play Relicio for free. And by free I mean without the tax. Charge counter it. And then next turn we do get to play either Brimaz or Blade Splicer, which is pretty good. Blade Splicer does block the golem, so probably Blade Splicer. They also have one card in hand. Ah, <sighs> but they have infinite tangle wires. That's going to be a problem. I think we're probably just dead to that, actually. This is six mana. Yeah, they literally hit Black Lotus Tanglewire, and that's all they need to win the game. Seems good. We take seven here. We have to tap down four permanents. One, two, three, four. So we get two mana. It's not going to do it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And we have two lands, so we can't actually bounce this guy. And just adding blue. Put another charge counter. Next turn, like now we take five, six, seven, eight, so we go to two. Yeah, we're just going to pass. We're just going to concede here. Eh, maybe we get to see one more card. Tangle Wire is a fun card. three now <sighs> yep. one two three man that would be great if we had enough mana to cast it okie dokie so they are green blue green blue white Probably going to take out our own Lodestone Golem. Bring in Day of Judgment. Hmm. Actually, I don't love Gideon here. Relic Order seems good. I'll just submit like this. I think this is actually fine. Thank 
Thank you. Badger with the gifted sub. Welcome back, my dude. Always good to see you, buddy. I didn't know I made you sad, though. Yep, mulligan this hand. Seems terrible. This is really bad. Four, five, five. Oh, God. Do you just hope to hit a soul ring here? Sure. One. Two. Yep, this hand is also terrible. So, so long, trophy. And the trophy dream is dead. Yeah, every game. Cool. <sighs> Absolute amazing. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Could have played this, just didn't care. Like, what am I going to do against this? Hope I draw wins of abandon off the top. So if I go, they go, they go, I go to 10, if I go fourth land, then I go to five, fifth land, cast an Urza, be dead before that. 891 subs is not a real number of subs. That is a ridiculous amount. <laughs> Jesus. Fun games. Absolute joy. Absolute, just a joy of, of two games. that when will our luck change i mean when our opponent doesn't draw first turn uh black lotus lodestone golem i guess i mean if we can draw soul ring that'd be cool or grim monolith then we got kind of like a uh, little action going on but Solvering Black Load is Grim Monolith Action. But we did not draw any of those things. I just want to get rid of this dude now, but I really don't think it's that big of a deal. He said famous last words. We have so many like low casting cost cards, cards like twos and threes, and even ones. And I'm really shocked that our hands are always like four, four, six. Four more cases. Good lord, man! You need to get your life together. I'll light up the stage. Seems good. Warren Powerstone Toxic Deluge. Fascinating. Let's play this fat body. Attempt to just resto block here 
or here? Probably here. Any alternative is taking eight? Yeah, I guess we'll just pass. Okay, Arya Laxative did not really buy four cases of Sir Strumming. He just loves food memes. an answer cool I wish I could win some abandon next turn but alas my own lodestone golem is costing me the game <laughs> actually hilarious It's a lot of land. Did they not activate Dak Faden last turn? That's interesting. Oh boy, this has been an interesting game. Boy, things really went downhill after that first round, huh? Get this block here, take one, two, three, four. Literal no targets. Sounds good. Oh, incredible. That's incredible. All right, so Dak Faden is just wonderful against us. Bring in this guy. Actually, Relic Order seems fine against our own cards that they take. So does Flicky Wisp. And we haven't drawn Metalworker yet. I don't think I want Metalworker anymore. I think you've outlived your metalworky usefulness. All right, you know what? We'll give it a go. Maybe we can draw Mox Diamond and play Brims on turn two. I mean, it's close. Wow, Spill Pierce is fucking amazing. That's incredible. Yep. Seems good.
Guys, I'm just... It's happening again, guys. I mean, this is where they go red mana deck, fade, and steal Jitte, right? Green mana. <laughs> Gotta get that fourth color in there. Yep. Interesting. Gonna miss that guy survives, huh? That's interesting. Let's get God, Colony is easily the best land here. But if we have any desire to activate Golos, I think we just gotta get Colony here. We'd still need two extra colors without with Golos in play, so. Maybe they don't have anything? I don't know, I have my doubts on that, but we do have Giver of Runes to protect Golos, so. <sighs> so I'm gonna assume they have Toxic Deluge. Yep, this is definitely some Toxic Deluge bullshit. So this means they have to do it for at least two, which would kill the sower, so that's fine. What? Fascinating. Thank you. So salty. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. What up, my dude? 25 months, almost two years? I don't think that's how that works. Okay, let's pass. I, lo I actually like Candy Corn a lot. I think Candy Corn is quite decent. Mind Twist for one. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm just trying to get them low enough that we don't have to worry about uh, like that toxic deluge just kills them because they have to do it for like five now actually with counters on the Jitte they have to do it for like a lot more than five because once this is like a three like a nine toughness with two Jitte counters so Yep, seems good. Wow, surprised at that game. 
I mean, if we can draw, like, Soaring Grimonolith Mox Diamond in these turns, it's pretty decent. We have to just dodge things like, um, Mind Twist, I guess. actually kind of like mana tide again uh pro black would not stop deluge if it was damage based it would but because it's negative one negative one it actually does not i think we take wins out These hands are terrible. That's that's better. Yeah, that's let's keep that. Okay, let's see if they spell pierce. Oh no, interesting. Mm, okay, okay. Never gets easy. Yep. Missed the land drop. Guess I hope you don't draw a green source. Dak Faden and Murderous Rider with no land. Prismatic Vista. That's pretty good. Well, let's go with blue here. Hmm. I mean, we can actually play Vista. Play Golos. And like they still have a ways to go before they cast Dak. And if they do cast Dak, we can just relic order what they take. Let's do that. Have we finished the Ghostbuster game? No, dude. The game's like 15 to 20 hours. We're like three hours into it. Again, I feel like Colonnade is probably the best. Actually, we have. No, we have de we have coalition relic here, so yeah, we're gonna keep that up. As long as they don't hit a land here, it's actually pretty good for us because they can't cast either of the cards from exile. <laughs> yep, sounds good, dude. Sounds good. Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of that next turn. <laughs> because I don't want them to have access to green. And they lose Murderous Rider, so that's fine. We can also bounce it, actually, with Brazen Borrower.
Seems good. That's our goal. We're trying to activate the Golos. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, God. I love when my opponents are like so good. Yeah. All you have to do is hit one artifact destruction spell. Sure wish I had a Celestial Colonnade at this juncture. Not a land. It's interesting. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're one mana away from this, unfortunately. I mean, Dak starts at three, so we can put him up to four. Huh. I guess we'll say blue here. Borrower does not protect it, cannot block ground creatures, unfortunately. Yep, those are easy discards. Wow, I'm pretty okay with not drawing that. Well. Yeah, I think if Borrower was able to block ground creatures, it's just extremely good. I mean, not to say it's not great now, but like, think about how good it is now. And then just let it block anything, like a Vendillion click. So they don't have anything exciting in here except for Ancient Grudge, which they don't have mana for yet. Oh good, it looks like they have a Lightning Bolt-esque card. Well, we're planning on Day of Judgment to get rid of this lady, this young pyromancer. Why don't they attack our face, though? Do they think it can block? Oh, maybe they just think it can block... Oh. Sure, Doretti Spaghetti. Oh, I think our opponent forgot, too. That's wild. Huh. Now I kind of want to raise and borrow just to pressure the Duretti. Okay, that's really good. <laughs> Can't we Stoneforge steal this? Pro red. God, is it better to kill the Duretti or is it to. Oh man. I mean, either way, we're playing this, right? One, two, three. Jeez. Jitte seems very good on this board. I think it's Jitte. Well, because right now we can go steal this construct and kill both of these with the counters and put Duretti to one. And the only thing Duretti can do next turn is make a guy. It does destroy an artifact, though. Yeah, I'll get this.
Attack of Dariety. Oh, what up, J Link? Don't get them sweet, sweet trigs, but. Yeah, I'm just going to steal this for now. I don't think it's great, but like having two blockers keeping Dak alive and. As long as they don't draw a green source, I feel okay. You guys ready for the Toxic Deluge? Yeah, that sounds fine. Yeah, I mean, that's whatever. We still have a sword and a deck. I mean, they also took care of the Day of Judgment part for us, so now we have two cards and we can look two deeper. Well, that's not very exciting. So I'm, I'm fine with pitching both of these. Let's keep the Day of Judgment just in case. second I was watching a YouTube video the other day and you were thinking about bidding on a comic. Did you ever get to? Um, I, I, the, so the, the things I've talked about recently bidding on were just some, uh, some very expensive, like amazing fantasy number 15 that went for like 38,000. And, um, wow, they just sort of fire and ice over Dak. Can I just steal that thing? Is it opponents? No. Okay. Man, they're giving me two cards a turn with Corsa Portal and I get to and I get to loot with Dak every turn. Oh wow, this is My face did get real red. That's interesting. Why did that happen, I wonder? What the fuck? Um, hold on. What's happening right now? Okay, I don't know what's going on. That's really weird. I guess that's better. I don't even, that's, that's, that's really weird. That's really weird. Treachery, Colonnade, um, I guess we'll just get blue here. Oh, you don't need Monolith. I like Colonnade though. I, thought, I don't think we need Day of Judgment here either to be honest. I also don't think we're stealing this guy. I think we're just going to play Giver of Runes and Treachery. Or uh, Giver of Runes and Colonnade. <sighs> get rid of Monolith, get rid of Day of Judgment. Now I feel like washed out though. Yeah, I think it was on 50 before and then it was just, I don't know what happened. That was super weird. Hmm. <sighs> it's 
So we're definitely playing Colonnade here. Um, treachery Giver for us. We just play our whole hand down. No, I think we could just keep Treachery. Like, if they play something really big or really scary, I just want to have an answer for it. So long, treachery. I mean, this is turn 10, and they've drawn three lands. I guess this is going to be land number four. Green source, kill course of the portal. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we... Yeah, that's pretty good. I assume they're going to have overgrown tomb. Or blood... Or, uh... No. Wow. No. Interesting. Oh, just comes my tapped. The question is, oh, we 100% block because then we get to <laughs> attack with. This is. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter who who controls it. All right, well, we get to see three cards. Homage. Always homage. That's that's very good. Oh, wow. Can I just cast both of these? I don't think so. Um, let's say blue here. Sun Titan, what do you get? Actually, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have five mana. Twelve with Grimmodalus. So we're really, we're actually one mana away, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. We are one mana away. Titan gets Soaring. Titan also gets Grimmonolith, but. Titan can also get Jitte, actually. Oh, we can just Relic Warder, huh? Let's get Relic Warder. Alright. See, now we're in a nice spot to activate Dak again. Let's get rid of Island and Jitte because both can get back with Sun Titan. Matthew, I see you playing arena over there. Dan's just sent me a photo of uh, of Elk Tears playing. I think that's Elk Tears. I assume it is. Did he get a haircut? Did Matthew get a haircut? Are they not doing anything? Oh my God, he got a haircut. God, he was looking like such a such a shaggy gentleman too. We are at eleven cards. I mean we're just gonna die to our own course and portal here. I don't think we can activate deck anymore, to be honest with you guys. He didn't just get a haircut, he got all of them cut. Oh Dan's. You are priceless. Two, three, four, five. Activate this. Put you on here. Let's play our land. Oh, many roads 
Mr. Michael B. walk down before he can call him a man. Oh, boy. I mean, this is just, this is just why we do it, right? Like, it's got to be, I have to use this now. If they want to use a second removal spell on this, that's fine. You get Revoker back. Hmm. Did I play a land this turn? Oh, we just won the game. That'll do. I'm like, why can't I play a land? Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check them out on manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com, twitch.tv slash frankbar, patreon.com, and freshly brewed everywhere you can find podcasts. And uh, be sure to slam and like and subscribe buttons. You can uh, subscribe on Twitch, on YouTube, on the internet. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.